Hogue Salisbury Family Movement Disorders Program has a very robust deep brain stimulation surgery pathway or entity. In fact, it's one of Hogue's prominent neurosurgeons that very first brought DBS surgery to Hogue over 20 years ago. And Hogue now has three neurosurgeons on staff who perform DBS surgery. DBS surgery is a game changer for so many of our patients, especially those who have been diagnosed with tremor-dominant Parkinson's disease and essential tremor. But DBS can also treat things like slowness, stiffness, dystonias, which are these painful involuntary contractions of limbs or parts thereof, and dyskinesias, which are these involuntary kind of writhing movements that patients experience. DBS is great because it can also reduce overall medication needs and these episodes of wearing off, those times where the medications lose their benefit. And overall, what's great about DBS surgery is that it can greatly improve our patient's quality of life. The surgery itself involves making very small scalp incisions and creating an opening in the skull about the size of a dime. And what the surgeon does with the aid of a stereotactic device and very specific mathematical measurements, as well as brain waves and sonography, the neurosurgeon then places leads into specific areas of the brain which are known as the basal ganglia. And these are structures that are situated deep within the center of the brain. These leads are then attached to extension wires, which are in turn fed under the skin, and then attached to a battery or generator, which is finally implanted in the chest wall, just under the collarbone. The patient that we filmed today is a 72-year-old woman who's had Parkinson's disease for a number of years, and she suffered a lot with dystonias, dyskinesias, as well as stiffness and slowness. And today her neurosurgeon is going to be placing bilateral leads and then implanting the generator. Patients like her usually stay overnight in the hospital for close monitoring and discharge home the next day after surgery. And straight after surgery, we put the patients back on their usual medication for about three to four weeks. And after that time, the patient goes back to their neurologist where they begin programming of the actual deep brain stimulation device. And this is where the magic happens. This is the moment that the patients have all been waiting for. And it usually takes a couple of follow-up visits with the neurologist to achieve the optimal programming and outcomes. Um, But patients are really, really grateful for the surgical option that allows them to do so much more with less tremor and less difficulty. At Hogue, we ensure that the patients are very carefully chosen. Um, The surgery isn't appropriate for everyone with Parkinson's disease, so we make sure that our patients are seen by a neurocognitive or neuropsychologist for testing. And we also do something called off-on testing, where we bring patients in and we have them do a couple of little exercises or maneuvers off their medication. We then have them take their medication and then we repeat this standardized scoring just to make sure that they are in actual fact responsive to dopamine which means that they are likely to have better surgical outcomes. We then meet as a group. This involves the neurosurgeons, the neurologists, the psychologists, as well as the physical therapy and the nurse navigator so that we vet these patients and that way we ensure that the best goals and the best outcomes are going to be met for each and every patient.